Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit MX. Victorinox is famous for their Swiss Army knives, but they actually have a lot of other products, including multi-tools, and this is one of them. So it comes in this box. So they've been making original Swiss Army knives since 1884. That's quite a long time. And then here, um, it shows the difference between the Spirit MX and the Spirit MX BS. So the Spirit MX comes with a wood saw and a one-hand opening blade. On the other hand, the Spirit MX BS comes with a one-hand opening belt cutter and a one-hand opening blade. So at the back, it just says where it's made, where the contact address is, and then the patent information. So let's open it. We just slide it out. And then we have here a small user manual in Japanese. It's all in Japanese. I got this from Japan actually, so that's the reason why. There's something else here. Okay, so this is a more comprehensive user manual. So this is French and there's English. German, we have all the tools here, Chinese, Japanese, even Russian. So very comprehensive. Okay, so back to the pouch. So this is a nice pouch, quite rigid. It's got a belt loop. So it's got a pull tab, then you pull it open. So I guess you can use this um, both horizontally and vertically. So there's a hole here where you can pass your belt through. And then, of course, you can put it here. Maybe attach it to your webbing and stuff if you're in the military. And then you can just um, tuck this in here. So that's that. And then it opens through here. It's got a Velcro closure. And then we have the multi-tool itself. It looks really nice, very well polished. And the build is really nice looking. So this tab here is actually the one hand opening blade very nice and snappy so to unlock we just pull this tab here and then it closes so all the tools are locking so both sides have the tabs for unlocking and then there's this safety feature so when you close the tool it stops a third of the way through so there's a detent and then you can move your fingers out of the way and continue closing. So nice safety feature. So all of the tools have it. So there are cutouts for, for that detent. So you will notice that the handle is a little bit of an X shape if you squint. And I guess that's the reason why it's called the Spirit X. 
and it is actually what gives it the really nice shape good for the grip and there's no area here where you can get pinched unless you really move in really close to this corner but why would you do that right so so as you can see here the edge is rolled really nice and it's very smooth and comfortable to hold so we have the pliers here so it's got some grease so we got a long nose that's a little bit stubby but the tip is very precise there's no play definitely I was expecting that and the teeth are very fine so we got the long nose here the regular pliers here with the bolt grippers and then we have the wire cutter so these are soft wire cutters and then over here on the inner side is the hardware cutter so this is not replaceable but it shouldn't be a problem it's very smooth and there's no crimper so it really looks nice it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet but nothing that a soft polishing cloth can't fix and it really feels good the action is really good it really just gives off that um, refined and elegant vibe i really like it so let's take a look at the tools inside so we've seen the knife here it is again so it's the familiar swiss army knife blade except it has a tab here for one hand opening so it's got some texturing here, which makes it easy to open. I don't want to touch the knife blade. Um, I'm sure it's sharp. And the snap is really nice. So next we have the can opener. So this is the best can opener in my opinion and it really works well. And then it has a screwdriver here, a flathead. And then we have a Phillips screwdriver. Again, it's got a really nice shape to it. It's a full three-dimensional Phillips screwdriver and we have a small flathead here and we have a pair of scissors so there's some grease there I'll clean it up later so it's not the familiar Swiss army knife scissors this one's a little bit small and it doesn't open wide so it's captured here and probably it's um, more of a snipper than a full pair of scissors So that's that for this side and on this side we have a file so it's got two sides so we have a single cut here and a cross cut here and we have this metal saw and the teeth are really nice you can feel the aggressiveness And then we have an awl. 
So it's reasonably pointy. And I guess it's just the right amount of bevel here as an all. And then it's got this hook here. It's similar to the hook in some of the Swiss Army knives. And it's usually used for cords and shopping bags maybe for carrying. But this one is a bit oriented differently. So in the Swiss Army knives, you would be holding it this way and the hook will be coming out here. But this one is, you would be holding it like this and the hook is here. So in terms of ease of use and it's not as ergonomic, I suppose, and overall not as useful. But still, it's good to have. And then we have a bottle opener with a large flat head here. And it's quite thick, so I suppose you can also use this as a mini pry. And then it has um, wire bender here. And then we have a combination tool here. Um, this one is a chisel. It's quite sharp. And then this one can be used as a package opener. And then we have a wire stripper for big wires and another wire stripper for small wires. This tool is actually also used to cut the jackets of cables, so lengthwise. And then this one for cutting the jackets crosswise. And finally we have A wood saw. So this is one of my favorite Swiss army knife tools and the teeth here are really good. So I'm glad it's here. You don't have this in the MXPS. And then we have these holes here. These are used to attach the corkscrew and also the optional pocket clip so you can attach it on either side and that's it for my unboxing and overview of the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit MX it's a well-designed well put together and nice looking multi-tool it really exudes refinement and elegance it's perfect for the office or the mall but it will do the job just as well on the field I think I just might have a new favorite we'll see how it goes if you want to see as well, make sure to subscribe and press that notification bell. Thank you for watching.